get started. In every box, it has, uh, it's, it's printed in the inside of here. Um, how many cubic inches this box is. This one in particular, they, they come bigger, but this is a basic plastic residential box. comes 18 cubic inches. That's how big or how many wires can go in there. That's how they base it on. So, and I'll show you. Here we go. Now, let's just say this is a 14-2. That's that white wire. That's the one that you that goes on your 15 amp breaker, okay? Each, you've got a black, a white, and a ground in each one, okay? Let's say that's 12 2. That's a little heavier gauge. That goes in your kitchen or 20 amp circuit, okay? And uh, each one of these wires, it's got a black, a white, and a ground. Now, for the 14 2, the number 14 gauge wire, each wire is rated at two cubic inches, okay? Black wires two, the white wires two. We'll talk about the grounds here in a second. Okay, now the 12 2, they're a little bigger, so they're gonna take up more volume, right? So they're two and a quarter inches a piece. Two and a quarter, two and a quarter. Not talking about the grounds yet. We're gonna call this one a 14 3. It's got a black, a red, a white, and a ground. Two, four, six. Okay. With the grounds. They all count as one, regardless of how many there are in there. They all tie together. They're not current carrying conductors. So that's why they're only counted as one. That's just how they do it. So we've got two, four, because they're two cubic inches, two and a quarter, six, eight and a half, 10, 12, 14 and a half, plus the grounds, 15 and a half, okay? A switch or plug, is a two, that's 17 and a half. So we're right underneath it. It's as simple as that for wire fill. I have a, uh, excuse me, I have a three gang switch box. It, it, they're all printed inside there. You have to know what the cubic inches are, or your volume of your box. So they, they come printed on there. It's as simple as this. There's other uh, applications. If you've got steel boxes, how shallow they are, uh, inside, outside, there's all kinds of different applications, but this is it. The quick and dirty of wire fill, and it's as simple as that. For me, it's a matter of when I wire a, when I wire one of these boxes, I uh, I only put two in. I try to only put two hits. I don't even want to put three in there. It's just it's a matter of what a pain in the ass it is. You have six inches of wire out here. Then you got the plug or the switch. You got to fold the wire and then stuff it in there. Well, let's say the, the volume is good enough in the box to have four raw mixes in here. Including that, you got four wires out here, then you got to cram them all in, stuff them in, and the chances of them maybe touching one of the terminals on the uh, side of the plug, it's just it's a pain in the ass. Especially, you don't even want to uh, terminate those wires and wire nut them down, stuff like that. There's too much in there. So, plus the whole idea is so it doesn't get hot. That's why they tell you how many wires can go in a box to prevent from it getting overheated and catching on fire. That's it, as simple as that.